identify as transgender? She does uh, ident identify as transgender, yes. The state of Tennessee earlier this month passed and the governor signed a bill that banned transgender medical care for minors. Hale, who police say identifies as transgender, that news has already prompted some attacks against the trans community. I do want to say that expect more of this kind of chaos and destruction when you bring fascism into this country. So if Christians could just stop and realize that this hurts them too, and this is an example, now their own got shot. Besides We're gonna marching and, and protesting, what else do you suggest? Well, well it doesn't happen murder. overnight. It's not a miraculous. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> murder. She's Joking. just kidding. It's. Well, let me talk to you about. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on and talk about Jane's activism. What did you say? Murder. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and a stark reminder hit Friday about uh, the future for channels that exist on YouTube that want to talk about things that, well, quite frankly, YouTube doesn't want you to talk about, or opinions that YouTube doesn't want you to have, inconvenient opinions. I don't think anyone has really ever thought that YouTube.com is some sort of free speech haven where you could say or post anything. I mean, those days did exist about 20 years ago when it was kind of brand new still. But nowadays, there seems to be this really seriously moving target that creators have to constantly uh, keep up with to um, allow us to continue on the platform. We've seen big channels get completely demonetized like Odin's Men. And now after a multi-month hiatus, Steven Crowder comes back only to be slapped with not one, not two, but three different violations in what appears to be about seven days time. To me, this is actually more sinister than a simple difficult to understand terms of service or a unevenly uh, enforced terms of service. This, I believe appears to be personal, appears to be a direct attempt to remove Steven Crowder from YouTube. And I suspect a third strike, well, relatively soon. Let's get into the story. In fact, uh, Steven texted me over the weekend, let me know about all the strikes and stuff like that. I wanted to let him cover it first before I covered it, but obviously I strongly support Steven. Um, and also uh, if you're new to the channel or have been around for a while, my company is Coffee Brand Coffee. It goes great in your Crowder Mug Club mugs. Um, we roast everything fresh on demand. This is my company. This isn't a drop ship company. Um, we have our standard premium flavor, our unflavored coffee. We have about 10 different flavors. We have double calf. We now have several new cold brews that rolled out today. Uh, if you're a cold brew coffee fan, these are absolutely our top sellers. They come in these pre-sized bags. We have 15 different organic teas. Whatever you like, we have. And it supports the channel directly. So promo code the quartering over at coffeebrandcoffee.com. I would love to earn your business today. So Stephen Crowder sends out an email talking about the new Neil Mohan uh, regime at YouTube, which is the replacement for... Susan Wojcicki. What a lot of people didn't know about the person that took over for Susan Wojcicki is it was new boss, same as the old boss. In fact, Neil has had some direct interactions with the Steven Crowder channel in the past. He writes, we have had three of our posts removed from the platform, but they are still on Rumble. I'm going to talk about Rumble in a little bit here. First, they talked about everything that happened in Nashville. That was a very dicey topic a topic that, you know, you had, first of all, the, you know, the minefield that you had to navigate in those type of events. 
plus all the trans stuff. It was a double minefield, mines on top of mines. One could be forgiven, especially in a long form, unscripted format, for making a mistake. Then they had a second strike on their we're back. Wait, Trump is going to jail. Was also removed under their elusive harassment policy. Side note, this is also the video where we revealed the new YouTube CEO, Neil Mohan. So he was directly brought to light by the Crowder show. Then on Crowder Bits, so that's two strikes on the main. Then on Crowder Bits, they reacted to a young uh, drag performer that was removed against their policy against statements that uh, p- put young people in, a, in a, a, you know, an unfavorable light. What's interesting is YouTube basically then admitting that kids taking part in this habit or art form are in fact against terms of service. They continue, this is exactly what we warned against. The left can enact policy to transition your kid or put them on a pole. And when one of their uh, deranged dogmatics does something terrible, your best not to speak about it. He continues, they're coming after your kids. They will try to silence you. We will not take part in their lies and we won't line their pockets. Uh, we won't line the pockets of liars. Now, what a lot of people may not know publicly is the Steven Crowder channel has been demonetized for basically ever. They had some level of monetization return, re- re- return to their channel in a very short form, but they rely exclusively on their Mug Club program, which is now partnered up with Rumble. Um, and of course, that is this program. He's got Brian Callen now. He's got uh, all sorts of people in his audience here or in his, in his cast and crew. This is the future of not just conservative media, but centrist media is leaving YouTube. Now, YouTube remains an extraordinarily important pipeline to find new viewers. And you'll have to drag me off this platform kicking and screaming. But when we look at what's been happening on, for example, my channel alone on Rumble, also my videos are available on BitChute and Odyssey as well. And any other new video platform that's out there, I will do what I need to do to make my videos available there. And I will also support them financially. But you can see I have 116,000 followers now on Rumble. And it's quite common for my videos to get four to 5,000 views per video. Now you might think, well, Jeremy, you're going to get 80 to 150,000 on YouTube. And that's correct. But this is just in the past month. Before that, it was really more like, you know, one to 2000 views per video there. So, you know, my views have doubled or in some cases tripled. You see two weeks ago, this video has 9,000 views. So Rumble is really becoming, uh, here's one that I got that has 7,000 views. Yeah, it's much less than on YouTube, but it's very, very quickly becoming an actual platform where people can compete. Here's a video of Joe Rogan got 8,000 views, you know, if we go back before Crowder moved over there, this video got 1000 views, you know, 2000 views, 1000 views, 1000 views. So before Crowder came, went to rumble, you know, it averaged maybe one to 3000 views. Now it's, it's four to 6,000, sometimes 7,000 views. And if that continues for the next six months to a year, let's say doubles, doubles and doubles again, you know, where people were, you know, channels are starting to average, you know, channel my size there can average 15 to 30,000 views, um, becomes a very real alternative to YouTube. Uh, and when we look into more of what is behind this strike with Crowder, it certainly seems there may be some, some, uh, how do I say there might be some fuel or some evidence that it is kind of this personal um, thing with Crowder. They very publicly uh, have now basically started funneling people away from YouTube. By partnering with Rumble, Steven Crowder is a very public five, six million subscriber channel 
that is now actively funneling people away from YouTube, millions of people. If you look at, you know, the type of views that he gets on Rumble now, um, it's, it's very, you know, it's very, this is from this morning and has 670,000 views. I don't know if the views are delayed like they are on YouTube, but here's from four days ago, 1.78 million views, the 1.5 million views, 2.23 million views, 2.36 million views. He has successfully transitioned a couple million people away from YouTube. Now, maybe they just watch Crowder on Rumble and then they come back to YouTube. But eventually what's going to happen is more and more people are going to have their content available on Rumble. And once Rumble gets their monetization uh, under wraps, there are certainly plenty of advertisers that want to advertise on Rumble. Um, you know, I make a few bucks there a month. It's nothing to write home about. It's more important that there, it's a place where, you know, my, my experience is people who watch on alt tech or new tech are more likely to say, buy my coffee or buy my tea from Coffee Brand Coffee promo code The Quartering because they want to support alternatives. And when you see this with Crowder, like, you, it's very clear to me that, you know, this is another case of these wild strikes these kind of harassment policies that are never clearly defined, they are set up in such a way, they are so vague that they can really be enforced however YouTube and whenever YouTube wants. You know, I've talked about this before in the past where you know, I was told it basically directly that Jeremy, no matter what a smaller channel does or says about you, you are not allowed to make response videos or you're going to get a strike. That's a new policy, right? That's also not written in the YouTube rules. So if some, you know, weirdo leftist wants to make up all sorts of lies about me, I really can't even respond to it. And uh, these idiots know that, of course. So they'll say all sorts of heinous stuff, knowing that, you know, a big channel really can't push back on potential lies made by them because they'll say you're bullying them or harassing them, or being mean to them. Um, and, you know, that was a very interesting moment because I said, hey, look, this person's calling me all sorts of things. Why can't I make a response video and say, no, I'm not these things. They're like, well, you can make a response video. I'm not saying you can't, but I'm saying that you'll probably get a strike. And a strike is devastating to a channel, uh, especially for like Crowder or even more, even for my channel, right? I produce five to six videos a day, six days a week. A strike on my channel means 35 videos gone. Can't produce them crippling financially. Uh, you know, Crowder has a dozen plus employees. You know, I have employees. So that's why, you know, people are supporting his mug club. That's why I push my coffee because it's an, an outside of being monetized way to try and support your families, pay for your staff, all this kind of stuff. You know, for this, you know, in particular with Crowder, it's awfully suspicious. The timing of the strikes is suspicious about the content of the videos that receive the strikes. And also when you put into uh, the mix, the very public, uh, kind of F you to YouTube and come on over to rumble. And we're basically like, we're basically an arm of the competition on your platform. Don't be surprised if he faces a permanent ban in the very near future, support content creators on new tech, support their merch support. If you're a Crowder fan really consider signing up for his mug club. This is the only way we really defeat censorship. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do leave a like on it and we'll talk to you again real soon. Buy some coffee or tea too. I would really appreciate it.